Hello everyone, I am Shivam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will discuss all the fundamental and basic properties of a flush term. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. Now the figure that you can see over here is called as the flush term of a right circular cone. Now there are some important terms that you must know about a flush term and let's learn them one by one. Now the flush term has two circular area, one is at the top and one is at the bottom. Now over here you can clearly see that the top part is a smaller circular portion and it has a smaller area and the bottom part or the base part is a larger circular portion and has larger area. Now you can also see that the radius of the smaller circular area or the top part is taken as small r and the radius of the base or the bottom area is taken as capital R. Now the distance between the centers of both these bases is known as the height of the flush term and the shortest distance between the circumference of these two bases is known as the lateral height of the flush term. Now done with the basic terminology, let's see how a flush term is actually formed. Now over here we have three different figures, let's name them 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Now in the first figure we have an inverted cone and you can see that the top is facing downwards and the bottom is facing upwards. Now over here you can clearly see that a plane is passing through somewhere middle of the cone and it is dividing the cone in two parts, let's name them 1 and 2 respectively. Now we have just seen how a flush term of a cone looks, so we can say that the first part is the flush term of the cone and we are not so interested in the second part because the second part is somewhat a smaller version of a cone and we already know all the formulas for that. So by this pictorial representation we can form a clear definition of the flush term which goes like this. If a right circular cone is cut off by a plane parallel to its base, then the portion of the cone between the cutting plane and the base of the cone is called as the flush term of the cone. So till now we have discussed the terminology, the formation and definition of a flush term. So let's discuss all the important formulas that are required for solving any question related to a flush term of a cone. So the value of the slant height of a flush term is equal to under root of h square plus capital R square minus small r square where h is the height of the flush term, capital R is radius of the base and small r is radius of the top. So lateral height of a flush term is equal to under root of h square plus capital R square minus small r square. Now curved surface area of a figure is nothing but the area of its curved surface. So over here we can see that this area shaded in pink is the curved surface area of this flush term. So the value of the curved surface area of a flush term is equal to pi times capital R plus small r into L. So the product of these three terms will give us the value of the curved surface area of the flush term and it is generally represented by CSA. Now moving on to the total surface area. Now total surface area of any figure is equal to the curved surface area of the figure and the area that is left over. So over here the curved surface area of this flush term is equal to pi times r plus small r into L and the leftover area is nothing but the area of the top and the area of the bottom. So that is equal to pi times small r square plus pi times capital R square. So after taking pi as common, we can represent the formula as pi times capital R plus small r into L plus r square plus capital R square. So the value of the total surface area of the flush term is equal to pi times r plus r L plus small r square plus capital R square. Now every three dimensional figure has an additional property by the virtue of it, it can hold some amount of liquid or fluid inside it and the maximum capacity of it is called as the volume of that figure. So since flush term is also a 3D figure, it also has some volume and the value of the volume of a flush term is equal to pi h by 3 into capital R square plus small r square into capital R into small r. So the value of the volume of a flush term is equal to pi h by 3 into capital R square plus small r square plus capital R into small r.
that was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASN Academy. Oh,